Hey everybody, Cislook here, and I have an o um, I have an RU match today versus Auric of the Night. Uh, this RU match is for Eon Blitz's tournament, so I'll leave links to that in the doobly-doo. Anyway, taking a look at my team, since this is RU, I decided to bring on the Abzol. I also bought a Buffalant just because I like him a lot, so, you know, I decided to bring him. Rotom is, a uh, pretty good, like, uh, Rotom... I don't know, it hasn't been that useful, so maybe I'm gonna get rid of it. But anyway, Clefable, I have a Clefable so I can set up the rocks. Wish, Protect, and uh, Double Edge. It doesn't have any attack investment, but you know, Stab, and on top of that, I don't take any recoil thanks to its Magic Card. Also, I just uh, picked out a uh, Tangrowth off my box, as well as a Lantern. Which, uh, you know, Lantern hasn't really been doing its job lately. But anyway, getting on to the match. Alright, he leads off with his, uh, this ice thing that I have no idea how to pronounce his name, but it's the ice it's hail thing. Anyway, he goes for a toxic. I was kind of expecting that, but at the same time I have heal bell, so I wasn't really too concerned at all. I just go for the bolt switch and, uh, switch out into my Clefable so I can, uh, get the rocks up. Right here, he is going to take this opportunity to switch into his uh, Gears of War, which is uh, his Clink Clan, I believe that's its final evolution theme. I'm not really too sure. But anyway, I'm going to switch out, go into my Buffalant, just because I know that he's going to try to set up or substitute. And uh, yeah, I can't have that. So anyway, just go into uh, my uh, Buffalant, which is named after one of my friends because he has a huge afro, just like this thing. So that's his whole hand. That. Anyway, go for the earthquake, get rid of that substitute. And luckily, I was able to live that uh, gear grind with more than half HP now I wasn't too sure at the time if it only hits one or if it only hits twice or more but I was pretty sure it only hit twice anyway go for that earthquake thing that he doesn't have anything on this thing that can uh, that can uh, have levitate or anything but he does have this thing that I forget has levitate anyway I'm just gonna switch out go into Clefable since I know he's probably gonna spin away those rocks which he does and uh, now he's going to switch out, going to go into uh, Disaster, which is his Absol. I'm just going to go for a Wish. And uh, right here, I know he's going to go for a Superpower, but I was pretty confident that I wouldn't get KO'd. And I just barely live with 6 HP. And now, thanks to that minus defense, this uh, Double Edge is going to do a lot, not enough to finish it, which is what really matters. But anyway, just going to get some HP back from that Wish. And now I am just going to uh, switch up because I really don't want to lose this Clefable. I'm just going to go into Tangrowth because Tangrowth is pretty damn bulky and uh, phys in physical defense. So he is just going to die to Life Orb, which I really did not want because now he can go out into this thing and Ice Beam me and take me out in one hit, which I was hoping I could at least live one, but I didn't anyway. That was the move. I'm just gonna go out into my lantern now on a way onto my buffalant just because I was pretty confident that I can take one ice beam, which I'm not gonna get to find out because he switches out. And right here, I should have predicted the switch out into something else, but no, I just go for that stone edge. Anyway, now he's just gonna go about back into this thing, and I damn it, I oh my god, I should have stayed and gone for that stone edge, but now I switch into Rotomo, and I believe this thing has 105 base speed around there. Don't call me on that. Yeah, but point is, it's faster than my Rotomo, so I don't want that thing to die. So I'm just gonna save, switch out, go into Lantern, and uh, pretty much try to wall this thing somehow. I'm gonna go for Scald quite a bit, hoping that I can get that burn, but I unfortunately never get that burn, which just sucks. But anyway, I'm just gonna go for the Heal Bell, get rid of that poison before it really starts to add on, as he's just gonna go for an Ice Beam, which really isn't doing that, which really isn't that doing, which really isn't doing that much. So I'm get rid of that poison. Now I'm gonna go for a Scald as he misses his toxic which at the time was like that's pretty good I guess but I don't end up getting the burn which you know just doesn't matter at all anyway now he's gonna go for the toxic again and I go for the scald and right and I know he knows that I know or wait I know that he knows that I have the heal bell so I was thinking that yeah he's gonna talk to me that way I heal bell next turn and he can switch out into something while I heal bell but I'm like okay I'll just take this chance to uh, go for the scald and hit whatever he wants to send in goes into the spider thing and uh, it doesn't do half and I don't get the burn and I know Giga Drain is on its way so I decided to just go into my Buffalant to uh, take it with Zap Zipper but unfortunately for me he is going to uh, take me out with a Dunder next turn since he does outspeed me now this thing is a huge problem I need this thing to die 
and uh, luckily for me, I'm, I got me uh, my luck right here. That's gonna scare it out with the uh, with the uh, night slash. I am going to no, not. I'm gonna scare it out with the uh, sucker punch, you know, because I can outspeed it. But I'm just gonna predict a switch, go for night slash, uh, get intimidated, and that's really not gonna do that much, do that much to this uh, touch me thing, Majigger. But anyway, going now on to Rotom Mo because I want to try to trick that. Um, uh, what's that thing's name? I don't remember. Anyway, I just go for the trick. He sends out this thing, which I, at the time was like, okay, I can bring out the lantern, and I don't have to worry about hit, uh, poisoning me. So, yeah, switch. Uh, giving me the choice uh, specs wasn't really that good of an idea, like, at all. But, anyway, he's going to go for Ice Beam. I just go for the Heal Bell, just because I really can't do much else. I believe I go for a Scald, and I... Still fail to get the burn. Uh, okay, he gets a crit. Okay, okay, yeah, I remember. I go for the bolt switch so I can take the ice beam so I can bring in something safely. But he had to go and get a crit. And now I can't bring in my uh, lantern in. So now if... Oh my god. Point is I can't bring in the lantern only as death hotter because it's going to die on uh, entry. And now I send in Clefable and he gets another crit and takes it out with just... Oh my god, seriously. But anyway, going to send in my luck now. Gonna go for that superpower. I should have expected him to switch out. I mean, it was pretty obvious that he was gonna stay in. But anyway, go for that superpower. This thing is gonna take it pretty well, especially since it's not stab or anything. Go for the nice dice. Hope I get a crit. I do get a crit, but I just fail, barely failed to take the thing out, which just sucks. Anyway, yep. My absolute goes down, and that is pretty much the game because all I really got is this Rotom. Uh, I believe this thing is Grand Tap, which is why I don't go for the Bolt Switch or anything like that. I just go for the uh, Leaf Storm, and now he's going to send in this guy, and I'm just going to stay and go for the Leaf Storm, and he's going to outspeed. Go for the uh, Bug Buzz, it goes down, and now I'm down to my Lantern, which is going to die because of Spike. So anyway, that was a good game. Uh, Zor Zorark of the Night. Good luck in round three. Yeah, this sucks that you got like three crits there at the end but you know that just hacks but anyway won't be updating Mario Party on Saturday just because I uh, tomorrow going to Great America and then on Saturday I'm going to uh, Disneyland and then Sunday I'm gonna be tired and have to do homework and then on Monday I have no school but I still have to do homework because uh, the English portfolio is coming up and that is going to take up a lot of time Luckily, um, I don't think I'm going to finish it by Monday. I think I'm going to use up Tuesday as well to like strap it up and stuff. But it's still Wednesday. So after Wednesday, it's pretty much summertime already. So going to have a lot of more battles. Going to do a lot more stuff. Like, yeah, it's just going to try to make a lot more videos like lately. You know, try to get back into uh, Pokemon on DS. Gonna look for some uh, second and third gen. If I can figure out how to get third gen to work. I mean, I've done it before. And it'd be really cool if I can get that stuff to work. But anyway, just rambling on now. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you later.